Mad Apple, you guys, at New York, New York, kind of came out of nowhere for me. I gotta be honest, when they announced this show, um, I wasn't excited about it. Um, they got rid of Zumanity at New York, New York, which I actually never got to see. But uh, yeah, I don't know, I just, it just seemed like yet another variety show that, uh, you know, comedic host, some acrobatics, some, you know, death defying stunts, thing, yada, yada, yada. Felt very much like, well, this has been done before. Think like Absinthe, think there's, there's a show at the Rio, I think, I forget what it's called. Uh, Anyway, it doesn't really matter. But um, it just felt like the recipe had already been kind of done before, so why do it again? You know, when I think of Cirque du Soleil, uh, you know, being in Toronto, we do get a lot of the traveling shows. I do think of like, there's not really a, a very clear story to it, but there's a lot of, you know, acrobatics, this and that and the other. Um, again, Death Defying Stunts, some just cool things to see. Again, another variety show, but usually not so much with the comedic host. Usually there's not a whole lot of talking at all, to be honest with you. You know, my favorite Cirque du Soleil show I, you know what, it really is a bit of a toss-up between MJ1 over at uh, Mandalay Bay or Beatles Love over at the Mirage. It's going to be Hard Rock. Make sure you go check that one out because, you know, who knows how much longer it's going to be there. But anyway, um, those are definitely my top two. Um, some might argue that those are a little bit different than a typical Cirque, especially the MJ1. Uh, but I, anyway, I digress. This show was a bit of a surprise for me. I can't, you know, we, we got, full disclosure, got an offer from MGM. Our ticket price ended up being about 25 bucks each, plus all the service charges. So of course they ended up being, you know, um, probably double that actually after all the service charges and everything. Uh, but anyway, we thought, hey, for 25 bucks, let's take a chance. We were sat on the sides of the stage. So we did understand that we may not get the perfect view. And I will say that there were times when I didn't know where to look because this the way the stage was set up, you know, you have something going on over here, you have something going on over here, something going on over here. And I did kind of feel like a little bit like, where do I go? Where do I look? So I feel like if you were sort of sitting maybe more center stage, you'd probably get a better view. That said, I still was able to see everything perfectly. I will say as well, we did get there. The show started at seven. I think there's a seven and either a nine or 9.30 uh, showing as well. We got there right at seven. Um, we were a little bit late. We had to, you know, book it from uh, Paris to get down there. So I will say show up a little bit early because uh, it's interactive. There is a pre-show. There are things going on beforehand that unfortunately we didn't really get to see. Um, the stage actually doubles as a bar as well. So there's like a, a, a the stage kind of lifts and changes throughout the show. In the beginning of it though, there is a bar where you can actually go and get drinks and snacks and things like that, which uh, again, we ran out of time, we weren't able to do. There are still bars that you can get, you know, other snacks and drinks throughout the show sort of behind that are not seen. Um, but it was kind of a nice way to kind of start the show. And again, I do wish that we had caught all of that. Again, it was just uh, one act after another. Um, a lot of, uh, I don't want to spoil too much. I will say as well, they, they don't really let you film in there. They let you film a little bit in the beginning with the pre-show and they let you film at the end for the sort of finale, which they will, you know, they'll tell you, yes, you can film now and get your, you know, Instagram and whatnot shots. Um, so I wasn't able to get a whole lot of footage, unfortunately, but uh, definitely check out some promos if you want to see a little bit more, you know, get a little bit more of an idea of what is going to be there, maybe on YouTube or, or whatever the case is. I said, yes, I actually really did enjoy the show. It was actually a lot of fun. Um, you know, there was some cool flips and jumps and death defying acts as usual. I will say though, the highlight of the show for me was the comedian. I think that this has been changed from the original comedian that was been, the, I think they have retweaked the show a little bit since they first launched it. Uh, we had Harrison Greenbaum, which I believe was on America's Got Talent, if I'm not mistaken. Um, hilarious. It just, nobody was safe. <laughs> that's, and that's the kind of comedians I kind of enjoy. Those people who aren't afraid to go there, aren't afraid to sort of push things a little bit, say things that are maybe a little bit inappropriate, say things that are maybe not, you know, too, uh, too PG, let's put it that way but that they're not targeting one person. It's not all this demographic, that demographic. It's just everybody, like literally everybody in the audience was, you know, fair game. I was so nervous that I was gonna get picked on, but fortunately enough, I didn't. Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was just, just really funny. Just really, I could have watched him all night. He just, yeah, he was really, really funny. Some great, you know, little magic tidbits in there as well. Again, I don't wanna ruin too much. Um, this is going to be kind of a, a quick, quick and dirty uh, little uh, little review for you guys, just because 
Um, again, I couldn't really film too much in there, uh, and I don't want to spoil anything either because there are some things that uh, that are kind of uh, catch you by surprise and everything as well. So, is this spot right for you? Um, apparently, it is does say that it's for 16 and up or i forget what the age group is there were some kids in there which was a surprise because like i said some of the comedic stuff that was in there was maybe slightly inappropriate for the younger demographic so i will say it's definitely for an older more mature audience you know they're going to talk about i can't remember want to get demonetized they're going to talk about sex for example they're going to talk about Anyway, they're going to talk about all kinds of things that you may not want your kids to be hearing. So I will say this is definitely more of a mature, more of a mature show. Um, you know, there's a lot more shows to see if you do have your, your kids or something with you. So I would definitely say maybe avoid this one unless you're with your, you know, your teens or, or whatever that you, know, you can handle kind of those topics and them talking about those topics in front of, you know, you guys. So anyway, just something to think about. Um, otherwise, definitely a great show. We really had a great time we really enjoyed it we laughed so much we saw some crazy acts uh yeah just overall was was caught off guard was not expecting it and was very pleasantly surprised so if you're looking for you know a newer cirque this is like the this is the newest cirque on the strip um so if you are looking for a newer cirque definitely check this one out if you're looking for something a little bit different you want to have a just a mix of a show not just dancing not just singing not just you're gonna get a bit of everything you're gonna get that comedic relief you're gonna get that um you know the stunts the acts things like that yeah you're gonna get a bit of everything and hence the name variety show that's really what this is it's a variety show um but yes definitely go and check it out let me know in the comments below have you guys already seen this show is there something else on the strip that you would really highly recommend checking out what's your favorite Cirque du Soleil show again mine is sort of a toss-up between MJ I'm sorry Michael Jackson one and Beatles Love, those are two, my top two favorite. But this one has definitely very quickly, you know, surprised me. It's gone up to the, close to the top. Not quite the top, but close to the top. But uh, anyway, let me know what you think. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking the video. Please consider subscribing to the channel. It really, really helps me out. It's totally free for you guys. And it really does help me continue to deliver like content like this for you guys. Um, share with your friends if they're thinking of going to a show in Vegas, looking for something different to do while they're on the strip. Uh, it really, really helps me out. And once again, this video is spot right. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.